Andrew's got this group called The Rabbit Room, and they wrote this blog post that's called The Sacrament of Cinema. And they compare the cinema to sacrament at church, which I thought was really interesting, mm-hmm. where you go in, you're with a group of people, it's a communal experience, and you set down all of your distractions, and you focus on one thing, which is the sacrament in Christ. Or in cinema, you go in, you get rid of all your distractions voluntarily, there's no pause button, there's no... You, you're all in it together and you're all going to experience the exact same thing at the exact same time. And you're all focused on one subject, which is whatever that director and that storyteller has created for you on the screen. And it's, it has a lot of parallels. And as I, as I, as I read that article and then Jared Giese, our VP of global distribution came to us and he'd been telling me for, um, maybe a year and a half that we should do more theater stuff. And he brought this film called His Only Son, which is a, the story of Abraham. And you're, you're basically in the wilderness with Abraham for three days in this movie. And it's, it's pacing is slow, but it is beautiful, beautiful landscapes rated so well because it just it, it's, the actor just carries Abraham. And it's one of those movies where if you didn't, if it it did really well in the box office. We did number three in the box office at Easter time with his only son. And, um, that movie never would have succeeded if it hadn't been in theaters because you have a pause button and you have distractions. And in order to have this like contemplative meditational experience with Abraham and him, you know, like preparing to offer his son as a sacrifice, in order to have that, you have to just like, it's that, it's that surrender all your screens and everything. And so I flipped on this and realized that right now people are actually hungry, even though it is the silver screen, people are hungry to give up social media Mm -hmm. and they're hungry for an opportunity, even if it's just for two or three hours to just set down everything else, all their work, all the communications and just focus on a story and it's, and it, it's so my, my view has changed to where I actually think that cinema has a great future Mm -hmm. because people are desiring to disconnect. And the theater is the simplest way to have the, the sacrament of the cinema and completely disconnect and have an experience that lets you uh, escape what uh, the, 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 the social screens. 